Feast your eyes on another classic from the John Mayhew collection. This thing is an absolute dime piece. And like all the others, this one's been tuned to perfection here at Kaplan Cycles by none other than the Manic Mechanic, a specialist in V4, V6, and straight four and straight six motorcycle, Japanese motorcycles. And that is to say this thing runs probably better than it did brand new in 1986. A true time capsule of a machine. This one here, he had five interceptors that came from his collection. This one here is the finest of them all. He did not, this is the one, the last one uh, to be loaded up on the trailer. He wasn't sure right until the very end. He flip flopped a few and five, a few times on his decision to sell it, but he comes with the manual, of course, the title, and then uh, a $22,475 work order. Uh, several page work order for all the services pre pre mostly preservation and tune-up services we did here at kaplan cycles uh and it went through the detail shop by our team that does all the detailing for all the museum quality motorcycles displayed here at the new england motorcycle museum this is a museum quality bike it is uh, an original unmolested absolute dime piece owned by a aficionado honda collector uh, who knew how to take care of his bikes. All of his bikes were in dry, in a dry garage with covers on them, so they were never out in the elements. This is the original factory paint job on this. One of the panels on this bike is repainted. Um, we can't tell which one. Um, it was in the showroom, and I asked Bill Blythe if he could tell which panel was painted, and he could not tell. Um, so th it's, it's that, that good of a, of a professional quality a paint job and it was done in-house here by Dean Sullivan, our, our uh, on-staff painter here. Dean's an incredible painter. He actually touched up, or excuse me, repainted this fairing lower right here. Now, um, there is a, a couple of little beauty marks on the tank right here. We left those on there. We didn't want to, to uh, molest the original factory paint job on the tank. Uh, the rest of the bike paint is all original, as is the upholstery, the seats, the exhaust, everything on the bike is back to your original um, this is a one year only honda racing red white and blue model when i saw the photos when junior did the photos in the museum on it it looked to me like like a catalog photo bike it looked like like it just came out of the honda catalog in 1986 it's that's that's that nice it's a very powerful double overhead cam four valve per cylinder honda uh, direct descendant of the racing machines um, Excellent handling and performance and out-of-the-box race winner has won multiple AMA racing victories on, on this motorcycle right out of the box stock um, Smooth power delivery very low vibration ultra reliable Fully refined. It's a six-speed four-stroke v4 fun machine. The seating position is comfortable It's great for long sport touring rides or short sporty rides or, or take it out on the track um, Super comfortable seat. This one's 100% stock and original other than that one panel that was repainted. Um, a classic time capsule. This bike looks brand new and it needs nothing. Um, we just went through the bike top to bottom. It has a new battery in it. Uh, the engine oil has been changed. All the lights were checked and work 100% electrically. It's a 10. The fuel tank was drained, rinsed, cleaned, and inspected. The carburetors were removed and disassembled, uh, completely disassembled. Micro drilled the pilot jets. The fuel screws were set and they were completely rebuilt after they were cleaned. And we added fresh VP94 octane free, excuse me, VP, VP94 octane non-ethanol fuel. So the cars won't get gummed up again uh, as long as that fuel that's in there is in there. Uh, gave the bike a complete check over. It was rotisserie detail that is hand washed, carnuba paste wax and cleaned top to bottom professionally by the same guys that, that cleaned $100,000 uh, classic motorcycles here at the museum. So um, this is a dime piece. It needs nothing. It's been thoroughly gone through um, by the man mechanic himself and our detail staff and triple checked by me. It's got Bridgestone Battle Axe tires on it. Uh, the brakes are all perfect. Um, all the fluids are fresh in it. It has the factory optional passenger pillion sport cover here, which is really nice. Not all these a lot of these got lost or broken. Um, you won't find a nicer one. It has the protector on there, which is nice, so your belt buckle doesn't scratch the tank, which is a, a really nice thing to have. And uh, the bike's ready to go. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. It'll be on display on the third floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum in the Honda section if you want to come take a look at it. 
you're not gonna find a nicer one. Now this is another Honda. I've sold dozens of these uh, in our as-is auctions, as-is, uh, running or not, but, but none have come close to the uh, um, near perfection that this bike is. I mean, not even close. They all paled in comparison. Most of them are crashed, dropped on one side. They had some type of damage um, and or needed, quote unquote, just a carb clean. And you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes these, these, uh, you get into a bike and you think it just needs a carb clean. The next thing you know, it needs a clutch or it needs valves or whatever. So you never know on, on a, a bike that's not running. If it's, you buy a bike from a Craigslist find or a barn find, it's not running. You don't, you don't know what you're getting into. Maybe it is just a carb clean, but it might need a full, full bevy of services. Show them how clean. Check this out. These are the original. This is a very zoom in close. That's a very very duplicate finish to, to, to copy. Um, that's the original. The reason I say that, it almost has like a, a bed liner look to it. It's a very um, rough factory casting finish. It is a coating. Um, it's on both sides. Check out this side here. Uh, the, and, and it looks like it just came out of the box in 1986. The fit and finish up close in this bike. Look at this. When you just look at it, even the kickstand, look at the, the hardware, the shifter. Um, the original exhaust, those are the original HMML7A part number, um, original aluminum exhaust, and they're freaking beautiful. Original chain guide. Uh, look at look at the look at the um, polished aluminum uh, fuel pack. Uh, the fit and finish is the aluminum frame. It's just things that absolute. It's a work of art. Really, really, Honda really smashed it out of the park with the red, white, and blue. Obviously, Kaplan America, you know I'm going to dig the red, white, and blue. I just did a red, white, and blue. Chrissy just did a red, white, and blue graphic wrap on my, my own personal CR500, soon to be unveiled uh, for the Munson and Gunstock hill climbs and some motos this summer. But back to this bike, you won't find a nicer VFR Interceptor 700 anywhere on the planet for sale today. Um, bid high and bid often. Call us if you have any questions. We do have in-house financing. We also will arrange shipping for you anywhere in the world. So don't let those issues, those are non-issues.